Hello dear road trip lovers and welcome to a nice motorway drive on the German A8 between the two biggest cities in the state of Baden-Württemberg, Stuttgart and Karlsruhe. A8 here is quite a scenic drive at the northern foothills of the Black Forest. The weather was also perfect so let the wheels run. I started filming near Stuttgart the capital and the largest city in the state of Baden-Württemberg, located on the Neckar River in a fertile valley at an altitude of about 250 meters. It has a population of about 635,000 inhabitants, but has a much larger metropolitan area with many smaller towns around and a total population of about 2.8 million people. The city started to develop itself from the Middle Ages. The castle and the city walls were built during the first decade of, uh, decades of the 14th century and became the seat of the Duchy of Württemberg in 1495. The Thirty Years' War and the bubonic plague brought a lot of destruction and decrease of the population, starting a period of uh, economical decline that lasted until mid 18th century. Some of the city landmarks like the Wilhelm Palace, um, the State Gallery, the Villa Berg, the Katharina Hospital were built in the first half of the 19th century, marking the start of a period of massive economical development. The population exceeded the 100,000 mark in 1874 and the 2,000 uh, inhabitants mark in 1904. It grew very, very fast at the end of 19th century, beginning of the 20th century. Stuttgart has a great industrial heritage, being the location of the automobiles invention by Karl Benz, industrialized by Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Meinbach in a small workshop that would become the Daimler Motor and Company in 1887. As a result, it is considered to be the starting point of the worldwide automotive industry. And today Mercedes-Benz and Porsche have their headquarters in the city, as well as uh, automotive parts giants like Bosch or Male. The city was severely destroyed during air raids in the Second World War. More than 50% of the whole buildings in the city were, were destroyed actually during 53 bombing raids. After the, the war, Stuttgart was rebuilt, but more in a modernist way. So many old buildings uh, weren't rebuilt anymore. The population halved by the, by the Second World War began increasing again with a massive influx of uh, German refugees from uh, areas that were not anymore part of Germany after the war. And as, uh, together with the economical uh, wonder, in the 50s, end of the 50s, many migrants came here from South European countries. Even if many of the city's historical areas were destroyed and never rebuilt, there are still a lot of things to do and see in, uh, in Stuttgart. Like the old and the new castle, the King Wilhelm Palais, the National Theatre or the Market Hall. In the center of the city lies a series, a series of gardens, starting with the castle gardens. There is also a planetarium, zoological and botanical gardens. The beautiful Rosenstein Park contains many old trees planted by King Wilhelm I. It is considered the largest English-style garden in South Germany. There are also many interesting museums to see in Stuttgart, like the Old State Gallery, the State Museum of Württemberg, History Museum, among others. But the most visited museum is uh, the Mercedes-Benz Museum tracing the 100, almost 135 years of history of the automobile. And also definitely very interesting for fast car fans is the Porsche Museum. So like I said, a lot of things to see and do here. One can easily spend one week in the city and the region. As there are some other very interesting places nearby, like Tübingen, Esslingen or Ludwigsburg, to name just, just uh, three of them. At uh, 
I, I will pause now in order for you to better get a better glimpse of uh, Stuttgart. I'll put some photos I took during a visit of the city, but unfortunately they are not of the best quality, being uh, shot with an older camera in 2014, so also pretty old. And I plan to come back to Stuttgart in the future and visit it properly. So now let's see the few pics before driving further. And I hope you like the few almost vintage pics from Stuttgart. And now let's drive further on the beautiful A8 motorway to Karlsruhe. A8 is a very important east-west transit route through South Germany, being almost 500 kilometers long between the borders with Austria and Luxembourg. There is still a missing section in the west that uh, is also out of the plans. I think it won't build, be built anymore. There are some important cities on A8 like München, Augsburg, Ulm, Stuttgart, Karlsruhe or Saarbrücken. Most of the motorway is three lanes per direction and there are plans to extend also some of the remaining two lanes per direction sections. Traffic is usually pretty pretty high. On this stretch, is, there is just one section that is uh, two lanes per direction near Forsheim, but they they already started the work to to enlarge it also to three lanes per direction. The A8 motorway is one of the oldest in Germany, being built in the 30s, so it is over 80 years old, being expanded to three lanes per direction in the last 10, 20 years. We are crossing um, a very nice uh, area and through the north hills of the Black Forest on the way, passing by the industrial city of Forzheim, considered also the northern gate to the Black Forest Mountains. So no, now let's uh, sit back, relax and enjoy the relaxing motorway ride with some music and I'll be back towards the end to say a few words about our destination for the trip Karlsruhe. <music>
Sitting here, I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.
As I promised, as we are almost in Karlsruhe, the second largest city in Baden-Württemberg with about 310,000 inhabitants. It lies on the right bank of the Rhine, near the French border and the border between the German states of Baden-Württemberg and uh, Rhineland Palatinate, but it's in Baden-Württemberg. Karlsruhe was founded pretty late among, uh, among other German cities in 1715 when Charles William closed to construct a palace, palace here. It developed pretty fast, but most of the central area, including the palace, were destroyed during air raids in the Second World War. Some of the most important buildings were rebuilt afterwards, but many unfortunately not. There are some interesting sites in Karlsruhe to be visited by a tourist, like the Karlsruhe Palace, an interesting piece of architecture. And the adjacent palace gardens include also a botanical garden and has many nice walking paths. The area around the central marketplace has also some interesting historical buildings. The layout of Kalsuri is quite unique with straight streets radiating from the palace. Another interesting touristic attraction is the Center for Arts and Media. Uh, so, like you see, one can easily spend a few days here. And now I was more or less in transit through, through the city, driving on its urban expressway, but I am planning to visit it properly, properly soon. So, I hope you liked the motorway ride on A8. And I am planning now some other trips, so stay tuned. Uh, some other road trip videos will be uploaded on the channel. And until then, see you, and till the next time, bye!